Hey, greetings everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to our journey through the Gospel of St. Mark. We are on a journey to a more joyous life, a more purpose-filled life. And that takes usually a higher sense of commitment to those things that we believe in. So today we're gonna to talk, it was inevitable, but today is the day that we're gonna talk a little bit about how our interaction and our connection to animals is. How strong is it? And how strong do we want it to be? Do we want an increased commitment in this area? So I'm going to ask you to quiet your minds and hearts as we prepare to hear today's gospel from St. Mark, of course, chapter 11, verses 15 to 19. Then they came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. He was teaching and saying, It is not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations. But you have made it a den of robbers. And when the chief priests and the scribes heard it, they kept looking for a way to kill him. For they were afraid of him, because the whole crowd was spellbound by his teaching. And when evening came, Jesus and his other disciples went out of the city. So there are many interpretations of this gospel, as there are with every gospel passage. This one, there is less of an attention to the timing of which Jesus gets very angry. Yes, his anger is up right in the beginning when they are selling things in the temple and he's re and they're relating it to just a money place if you will but his anger reaches a summit to a high point when he sees the animals being exploited and this is true in all of the gospel evangelists and when you read about the gospel of saint mark who is the one who followed peter around it is clear that the timing is when the animals were being exploited. He turns over the tables and he gets at his height of his anger. Why? Of course, because Jesus' creation includes our animal friends and he does not want to see them treated in this way. Well, here we are 2,000 years later, and I'm afraid things are not much better. As a matter of fact, I think they probably are worse. Our animals are treated so badly in slaughterhouses, in shelters in some cases, in testing facilities, in rodeos, and the list goes on and on. And we can do something about it. We can do something about it by raising our level of commitment to these animals that we love. We need to follow the lead of Jesus who showed his highest emotion when these creatures were being treated this way. They are defenseless. They are sentient beings who have feelings. They love. They can be loved. They can feel pain. And they need us to kind of step it up. Now, am I telling you that this is what you have to do? No, I am not. I think by now you know that in these reflections and in every thing that I do, I put information out there for your thought, for your consideration, and I ask you to, in fact, just consider it. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So here is what I'm going to say to you. Any increase in commitment to something that we believe in takes advanced education on maybe that subject matter and informed decisions. So I haven't asked you to write anything down, but I'm going to ask you to write that down. Increased commitment to something we believe in takes advanced education on the topic and informed decisions. So if we're going to say that we want to increase our commitment to helping animals around the world, we do need to educate ourselves a little bit on how they are treated, and then we need to make some informed decisions. Are we gonna spend our money on things that exploit animals or harm animals? Or can we take different paths of decisions in our life that do less of that or none of that altogether? 
as I said, you knew this was coming, this subject matter. I know you did because this is my passion. I'm putting this out there for you today because I believe that most of you, if not all of you who are listening to me, have some level of love for animals or we wouldn't be connected to this point. And I'm just putting out there the possibility that you will take that emotion, which I know you already have in your heart, just like Jesus had it in his heart in the gospel, and you'll take it to another level. That's the commitment that we would need to do. Yes, in some cases, it's a little bit of a sacrifice, but I could tell you from my own life that those sacrifices are minimal. And the result, yes, the increased commitment and the increased connection that now I have to these animals brings me more joy, more fulfillment, and more purpose. And hopefully, it will for you as well. My friends, that's my message from this Gospel of St. Mark. I hope it was helpful for you, as I always do. I always welcome your thoughts, your comments, your questions, especially on this topic. I'm more than willing to speak with you one-to-one, -one, whatever the case may be. I thank you in advance for listening to me today and following as you always have. Please continue to follow me at my website, joedwyerjr.com. I wish you all a wonderful day, and I'll see you back here on the next video. Take care, everyone.